With the advent of the Industrial Revolution, the widespread introduction of methods of mass production necessitated the creation of a society based on mass consumption. Thus, the standardization of production led to the standardization of consumption, which in turn led to the standardization of the consumer. A turning point in Homo sapien evolution was reached, and the peculiar species we now know as Homo normalis was born. It is true that you are what you eat, then Homo normalis is composed of a baloney-like putty that can be easily moulded into any number of forms, but in fact a slightly modified version of this saying is more applicable to this particular creature. You are what you consume, and indeed consumption is the very essence of life for Homo normalis. Unlike any other creature, Homo normalis has no need to adapt to his environment since it has already been adapted to him and only enough intelligence is required of him to choose between various brands of consumer products and to earn money for the purchase of still more consumer products. Homo normalis can be found gathering for feeding purposes in places of worship known as restaurants. Mating is essentially a form of exchange like any business transaction, a marketplace of desires where the commodities of exchange are personality, prestige and appearance. survival of the fittest has been replaced by the exchange of labor, translated into neatly ordered compact units of time, and rewarded with the power to purchase pleasurable consumable items and activities. The only realm of life that is not entirely dominated by exchange is the realm of fantasy.